coronary artery calcium testing. So uh, there was a really great uh, um, documentary, uh, and I can share that on, on the link here, but uh, that talks about the importance of calcium testing. And, and I, I think there's got a place, uh, it has a place for it. But what I don't like is, uh, again, Diamond Fernandez here with the Heart Fit Clinic. What I don't like about calcium testing is that it does not look for calcified plaques, uh, or sorry, non-calcified plaques. And so, again, look inside the arterial wall, and I talked about how that artery builds up just like a pimple would on your face. Now, there are different types of pimples that can build inside the lining of the arterial wall. If it gets calcified, in my opinion, that's actually a good thing. But it's also a big marker because now you've got, you got artery disease. And so uh, it's important to control that part of it. So calcification, if you're looking at lowering that calcium score, that's what we can focus at the Heart Fit Clinic. But in my opinion, calcification is actually a good thing. What I get more concerned about is the non-calcified lesions that are not detectable from a calcium testing. And sometimes you leave people with a false sense of security um, as to what they can do uh, in terms of, let's say you come up with a calcium score and it's and is low or nothing, then it doesn't tell us where the risk is of, of a plaque rupture. And because it could be a non-calcified lesion or a lipid pool is what I'm specifically talking about that part of it. So calcium testing, not a bad test, but I don't like it because of the radiation per se. There are a lot of other things that you can do, stepping stones before you get to that calcium testing. But um, much better than a stress test, which I'll cover here shortly in, a, in subsequent videos. Diamond Fernandez here with the HeartFit Clinic. Look forward to helping you live happier, healthier, and longer.